Hello YouTube. This is another video from Super Apple Forever. Um, sorry about me not making a video for a while. Uh, if you want to know what's been going on, I have a video with all kinds of updates and stuff. But um, I just wanted to make kind of a quick video, not too quick, just showing you, you know, like basic do basic stuff on my iBook G4. Um, like I said in my update video, I don't really have a lot of stuff to make a video on right now. So, I'm just going to make a lot of videos on my iBook G4. Um, most people haven't seen an iBook in a while, I guess. So, I guess it might be kind of interesting. So, what I'm going to do first is just some basic internet browsing on Safari. So, this is the latest version right now. I think it's 5.3 or 5.4. But, um, so I'll just go do random things, I guess. Um... By the way, it might be a little bit slower since I am using ScreenFlow, but um, it shouldn't be too much slower. It launched Safari pretty fast, as you can see. This is a 12-inch iBook G4, a 1.33 um, gigahertz. I'll show you the specs on it. Um, it's, so it's a 12-inch. Like I said, it's the last model of the iBook to be made. It's a G4, 1 gig of RAM right now. It's, it can take, I think, 1.5 gigs of RAM or 2 gigs. But, um, I, I haven't upgraded it yet. I, don't, I haven't had it for that long. <clears throat> so, there you can see the specs. It has a 40 gig hard drive. And, um... So, like I said, I'm going to um, show you guys internet browsing on here first. So, um, just to let you know, so you can, um, I guess this might help you sing with the speed on it. Um, my internet's 24 megabytes per second, just if you're wondering. It might vary on your internet speed. So here's Apple.com. I'll just click some tabs. So it loads pretty fast. Um, it looks real good on the screen. Here's the Grand Theft Auto Wikipedia. So it is a little bit slow, but not too much. Um, it's a little bit sluggish, pro as you can see here, because I am running ScreenFlow, and it does take a lot of processors, um, processor speed from the computer, and they only have one gig of RAM. But it's doing pretty good even with ScreenFlow. <clears throat> Here's another website, Apple History. So now we'll try something a little bit more uh, harder on the processor. We'll try YouTube. Now, as you know, f as you might know, uh, Flash is really, it's not too easy on your RAM or your processor. If you have, even on a brand new Mac, if you have multiple Flash tabs open on Safari or any other browser, it can crash Safari. And, um... So Safari's um, so Flash is really hard even on a modern computer. So um, I'll play a video, I guess, and maybe you can see. I'm sure it won't play very well with ScreenFlow, but it should look okay. Another uh, I another thing is that you can't play video any higher than 360p. <clears throat> I think it's 360. Uh, you can't play 480. It's too hard on the processor, even if you only have Safari open. Um, it's real hard on the processor, like I said. So, yeah, even playing, um, if you watch YouTube for a long time, it gets real hot. So, yeah, it's, it's just hard on the computer, and it can't handle it at all. 
Um, if you try and play like 720p or something, it's real hard on the computer too, and it basically it, you can't even do it. You have to basically restart it. So um, if you don't want it to play high definition, you can go into your account and settings and all that. So um, I'm trying to load YouTube here, so sorry that it's not cooperating with me right now. Like I said, the screen flow is really slowing it down. But I mean, if you keep if you keep it to a basic having two applications open at once, it runs pretty good. As long as you're not running something like like iMovie or something like that. Like I have uh, my mail open all the time. I keep that open, and I keep um, Keynote. Or, 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 yeah, I keep uh, Pages open sometimes, and it's real good for that. If you only have like basic stuff open. But if you do anything like higher than that, it won't work very well, and it, it it will get very slow. So um, I'll find a video to watch. It'll probably be real slow, so I'm not gonna put it in full screen, just because I'm using screen flow, like I said. We know, know that you're in there. You know you make me wanna <laughs> okay, so, uh, if you're play, What? Uh, uh, so that's easy. Uh, but, um, if it, I'm it, sorry. It uh, Merry Christmas. Oh, hello. Freddie PG now playing in theaters everywhere. Maybe that'll help a little bit. There's everywhere. As the size yeah, and so scope of the National Football the League grows, one thing that remains see. constant is the compassion and caring of the league through NFL charities. Our people are leaders by instinct and by training. The coaches, the players, the owners are all highly competitive. And they can lead not only on the football field, but when it comes to helping on community problems. NFL Charities has contributed so, more than eleven million dollars to worthy national it. organization. Um, I'll show you iTunes, I guess. It uh, it takes a little longer to launch iTunes. But um, that can be expected with all the stuff that it has to pull up from your hard drive, all the music and stuff. So yeah, um, it did launch it pretty fast, even with ScreenFlow. So um, I'll play something. You can see that it plays. I don't want to play it very long. Please. Um, the whole copyright thing with YouTube. But uh, you can also watch a uh, video on here. I don't have any video on here. I used to have video on iTunes, but I only have a 40 gig hard drive on here. So as you can imagine, I'm limited on space. I'm going to upgrade it. So um, stay tuned for a video with that. So um, we can try Google Earth now. Google Earth runs fairly fast on here. Um, Google Earth really isn't a processor-intensive program, unless you turn on all the special features and stuff, like uh, the 3D buildings, which I have done. So it takes a little bit longer to load. So uh, you can see that it's not uh, it's it's sl it's um, slowing down. Like I said, the only reason it's doing that is because of screen flow. It's actually pretty fast without screen flow. So um, I guess I'll show you transmission. Uh, if you don't know what transmission is, it's a torrent client. Uh, I recommend it. It's really good. So yeah, it launched that pretty fast. 
Um, down here I have this, the, uh, I don't know what they're called, the spaces or whatever you call them, on the dock where you can launch all your applications like that. Uh, by the way, this is running Leopard. And, um, we'll do Tomb Raider. Um, it's real good with games. It's obviously gonna really slow it down. Uh, with the quality and how fast it's going with the, uh, screen flow. But, uh, it's playing pretty good right now, anyway. This is Tomb Raider Chronicles, and it's from, um, I think 2001. And, um... I mean, it's it it needs a 233 megahertz processor, so it does run very fast with all with everything turned up all the way. So um, it's actually running uh, better than I thought it would. Um, it's the frame rate's not as high. But, um, it does look pretty good. So, uh, you can see that it looks pretty good on here. Um, this game is pretty old, so you can't expect the best looking game. But, um, Power PC games run very good on here. So, I'm gonna quit this. So that's about it. Um, if you have any questions about the iBook, please feel free to ask me. Also, I have a video review of it. Um, it's not the best video review. Um, I did it a while ago. It's like the first video I uploaded. So it doesn't look that good. But if you want to see that, you can just, of course, go to my channel and check that out. So like I said, if you have any questions about the iBook or anything else I've reviewed, please feel free to ask me. If you need help with the iBook, please feel free to ask me also, um, either in the comments or a private message. So, uh, thanks for watching, and please like and please subscribe.